What's up guys, Jay Cutton for Fitness Culture. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our favorite accessory non-barbell movement for your lower body. And that movement is gonna be the glute ham raise. This is a great accessory movement that's gonna really help your power lifts. So today what we're gonna do is go over our favorite glute ham raise variations to give you guys some ideas so you can spice up your training a little bit. All right, the first thing we're gonna go over is a proper glute ham raise before we get into, into the progression. So try to focus on putting your, pushing your hips through. And the best way to do that is to try to think about squeezing your glutes the entire time. If you crack at the hips, then your glute, glutes no longer are gonna have tension, right? So make sure you're gonna squeeze your glutes, push your hips through, let's go ahead and come down. Stop right here at parallel, and then you're gonna come back up and try to maintain your hips pushed through, good. Now that we've gone over proper form on this movement, we're gonna go over uh, all the variations that we like to use, and really this is gonna be a progression. So the first one's gonna be an eccentric only glute ham raise. So what we're gonna do here, an eight count eccentric, right? So what he's gonna do, squeeze his glutes and he's gonna start going. One, two, three, go down, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then he's just gonna break at the hips, help himself up, just like that, right? So, all right guys, next variation is gonna be an eccentric loaded glute ham raise. So what we're gonna do here is grab some weight. I mean, you can go really, really heavy on these if you have a heavy ball. So we're gonna show you what it looks like right here. You're gonna hold the set of your chest. Let's go four count lower. Yeah, one, two, three, four, drop the ball, explode back up. Up, 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 there you go, good. So the next variation is gonna be your standard glute ham raise and basically as heavy as possible, all right? So you're just gonna hold the weight at your chest, squeeze your glutes, press through. A way to change this up though, for guys that still don't have a glute ham raise, and if you want them to skip through the full range of motion, loaded the entire time, it's gonna be a reverse band assisted glute ham raise. So if you have something to work with, you can really attach to anything behind you, but with a partner, you're gonna put it on just like a backpack. Obviously the band is just gonna add more tension where it's the hardest. So it works the strength curve of the movement perfectly less tension at the top. So this, this makes it so you can even work with your partner. I can come to here. If Brody's a little bit stronger, like no band tension at the top, and just helps him a little bit at the bottom, and just come out of the hole. All right guys, the next step in the progression, um, and this is probably my favorite variation because it works so well with the strength curve of the glute ham raise, is gonna be a band resisted. So it makes it so you can, there's gonna be tension, obviously at the glute ham raise at the top right here, you lose tension a little bit at the top and having a band is gonna keep tension on those hamstrings. So it's gonna be a little bit easier at the bottom where it's the hardest. And as you go through the range of motion where it gets easier, the band adds more tension and gets harder. So it's basically the perfect way to weight this movement. All right, from there, you're just gonna complete a glute ham raise with good form. Just like that. So notice I have tension right now the entire time I'm still maintaining tension because the band is still pulling me forward. All right guys, our last variation, um, I wouldn't say it's really a ton more difficult than the band, depending on how, how heavy your band is. This works nicely because you can add a ton of load to the eccentric, and then basically by placing the weight in a different position, it's gonna lighten the load on the way back up. Grab a plate, plate locked out overhead, and then from there, you're gonna control it down, drop the plate to your chest, and then come back up. All right guys, those are our favorite glute ham raise variations. I hope that you enjoyed the content and that you can use this in your training or maybe use it to help your athletes and give you some new ideas. In the comments, please let me know what you think about the content, like it, and then give me some suggestions on stuff that you want us to go over in the future. I appreciate you tuning in, thank you.